Welcome to another edition of our Efficiency in Business series in association with Dracia. Hi Ross, we've got a, a question from one of our uh, customers. Um, basically they're saying, I create my journals in Excel and rekey them into Sage. Is there a way of saving time with this? Um, yes, there is. Um, we have a one of our newest products um, called Excel Data Bridge, um, which is designed to bridge the gap, unsurprisingly, uh, between Excel and um, Sage 200. Um, many of us work from Excel on a day to day basis, whether it be familiarity, whether it's the, the preferred layout, the formulas. Um, that we use on a sort of a day to day basis to make our lives that bit easier. But on the back of that, we then sometimes will have to duplicate the information within Sage 200, so almost a double entry process. Um, Excel Data Bridge is designed to essentially uh, remove that second step. Um, I'll just open up my screen so I can show you what I'm referring to now. Um, so we'll just open up Excel Data Bridge. We've got a number of different functions or sheets as we refer to them. Um, I've got a copy of some of those just here, just before we start. So you can see we've currently got 13 um, functions to help um, improve business efficiency. Um, so perfect for the series that we're, we're, we're completing at the moment with yourselves. From nominal ledger, sales orders, purchase letter invoice, sales letter invoice, purchase letter cash with allocation, sales letter layout, ledger allocations, stock, cash receipts, etc, etc. And if I just open up the sales order multi-line template as an example for you here, you can see we've got um, quite a whole, quite a host of information that we would, we would typically um, use to input to the sales orders. And I can input the detail, change the necessary information in here um, if I need to. Now, Excel Data Bridge is not only going to help create that order or journal, um, it's actually going to validate that information against your Sage 200 data as well. So you can see it's, it's seamlessly integrated with Excel. Uh, we've got the Excel data bridge and tab on the ribbon above. Um, and very simply, uh, once we've input that information, it might well be a document that you've downloaded from, um, from a portal or, um, or an online um, booking um, process that you have. And we're just going to click validate. What's that, what that's then doing is validating that information, as I've mentioned, against your um, Sage 200 data. It will give me an update on the left hand side, as you can see, in this case pending. Um, nothing requires my attention. I everything within that is all OK. And once we click create orders, that's doing exactly that. It will then update the status for me to process. You can see the first one has been updated and they're all done now. So if we look at orders 5148 um, down to 5150, we just jump into Sage 200 and just have a quick look at my sales order list. We'll just refresh that list there and you can see there they are. Abbey Retail, Abbey Retail and Quality Counts Kitchen. Just open up that option for us here. You can see we've got the professional blend five speed of a quantity of 20. And again, it's all been processed for you within the space of a couple of clicks um, and validated as well. Fabulous. So it's it's standard Excel, just with uh, the Excel data bridge added as a tab. Absolutely. Um, and whilst we're looking at a sales order here, this the same process applies to normal ledger journals, purchase ledger invoices, etc. Cetera, et cetera. Absolutely, that's exactly right. Yeah, absolutely. Um, these documents could also be branded as as your own. Um, as you say, Darren, it's, a, it's an Excel spreadsheet, um, a fancy one of that. Um, but it does mean that you can you can brand it accordingly, um, include your own colours so it's more familiar for your, for your staff members to use, particularly if you might be using one of the functions for maybe a um, an expenses process um, for your staff members to, to to input their expenses. Now, they would open up Excel as they normally would. The format would be configured with the relevant columns for you. And very simply, as that's sent through to an Excel data bridge license holder, they can open it up. They will see the Excel data bridge tab. They can create the order or the journal. Simple as that. Fabulous. And can I look up 
things like stock codes from within the sheet? You can, absolutely. Um, and you can actually create these um, sheets or functions um, to suit your business. So you can take a sales order sheet, you can take a nominal ledger sheet, you can look up the necessary data that you're that you're that you look for. So if I just jump into this line level data here, right click and Excel data bridge browse, that's then going to pull open all of the information that I might be looking for. And this is all sage data. Um, so I can see all of the information that I've got with regards to that stock and item line codes and input the information correctly. I can also click on to the designer within this tab as well. And I've just got a number of columns here, as you can see, but I could input all of these additional columns in here. So those that are in bold are currently included on my sales order sheet. But actually, if I wanted cost, delivery date promised, nominal code, nominal cost center, I can include all of these columns as well and really build up that um, Excel um, sheet to, 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 to suit your um, to suit your process. Fantastic. Thank you, Ross. No problem.